Alright, um, this is about abusive studs. So I'm going to help you out with this topic because you say you don't know nothing about abusive studs. So the reason why um, people do what they do. I'm going to just speak from a first-hand experience because I was in an abusive relationship too. And one of the reasons I could tell you is they're insecure. That's, it's, it's really that simple. They're insecure and they feel like they need to um, degrade somebody to feel good about themselves for X amount of time or, you know, whatever. Um, people that put up with that shit, like, uh, what's the name? Eye body? My bad, I didn't forget that. It's, it's, it's almost six in the morning don't mind me right now um like i wouldn't say that you should have kept let her keep slapping you i sh would say the first time like you, you gotta go <laughs> that's that but that's me so um anyways i you know i that's what i would do now coming from where i'm at right now but you know back in the day I'm guilty like you you know I was in love I was whatever I was blind in denial we gonna put it out there <laughs> on front street like it was seriously some some ridiculous shit um but anyways that's all I got for that one insecurities and if you in an abusive relationship tell that motherfucker fuck off Seriously, because they ain't worth it. Like, it's not worth the respect you lose for yourself, the respect you lose for other people in future relationships. Um, you know, because patterns have a way of repeating themselves. So, your relationships matter. The bonds that you create with people, you know, how you connect with people, you got to pay attention to all of that. And pretty much, like, if it's destructive from the beginning, it's going to stay destructive because only that person could change that person. Like, really don't live your life trying to change other people. That's the new thing that I learned from abusive relationship. I was saying out of pity. And finally, I just got fed up. And she was trying to control everything that I was doing, trying to tell me I couldn't talk to this to one of my friends and stuff. And he was a dude. She like, well, why don't you just go fuck him? And I was like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. I yelled that shit in her face. I can't yell right now because it is 6 in the A and my neighbors will wake up. These were all sin as fuck. But I was seriously like, you know what, mother? Fuck you. Because, I mean, I have played the submissive role. And that's another thing. Don't never be something that you ain't, for real. Um, because it will pop off. It's, it's not going to work. Um, and that's one of the things that I think abusive people also need they don't know who they are they don't know what's going on inside them and they just feel angry and it's a lot of um unresolved issues from their past but because i i've been one of them angry people i never took my shit out on um the person i was in a relationship with or you know none of that but I had a period in my life when I took my anger out on other people and that was my thing some shit just wasn't right I was mad I hated life and you know I think that's where abusive people's minds are they really just don't give a fuck if you're in that kind of situation there's not any way that you can make them care and they there's it's impossible for them to truly love you because they're just using you as a form of release. Because I can't say that I love my family at that time. I mean, because I, I chose to be, like, on a whole other level, seriously. Like, um, that's what I got. So, um, I just wanted to throw that on the table, put that out there. Um, and, you know, I body you right. 
Diddy, whatever the hell your name is, all of those names combined together, whichever name you want to be called, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I'm just, I'm, it's, it's late in it. I'm fucking around, so don't, don't mind me. Um, I don't lost my damn train of thought, trying to be crazy. And see, I don't remember. Anyway, um. Yeah, that's that's it. And that's it. Oh yeah, like you, I I regained my train of thought. Like you said, it's not just um studs. This one just so happened to be a stud. The girl that I was with, you know, that's a part of my thing too. I trying to realize that me and studs don't necessarily fit together, even though there's chemistry. That's a new one for me. Um. Shit can't go in boxes because people's heads is already in boxes. You know what I'm saying? And my shit ain't in no box. I'm a motherfucking open book. But, um, other people aren't. So, and I guess it all depends on who you with. But that's another topic. Anyway, abusive people don't even give them the time of day. Like, if you have Nina, yeah, Nina, if that's your name. Fuck her. Seriously, she's not worth your time. She's not worth your, you losing your respect for yourself. And she's not worth the drama. Just tell her gone. Tell her gone. Tell her it's over. I don't give a damn if y'all got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30 years together. If she's mean you if she puts her hands on you she does not respect you and in order for you to respect yourself let it go that's how I feel about it I mean that's what I wish I would have did I'm just speaking from past experience like it's not worth holding on to it because you're just gonna end up getting hurt in the end and it's gonna be a fucked up situation either which way you want to go so you could be the one to cut the strings and she could call you an asshole and whatever or she could have take it to the next level and you never know she could possibly you know try to beat your head into a wall or something and then what put you in the hospital and shit and then what it ain't it's not worth it it's going nowhere so you know that's just my opinion that's how I roll so um I hope you get something useful out of it hope that answers a little bit more of your question um and uh yeah that's it. <laughs>